Hey everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. My name's Grant and in today's video, we're gonna talk about getting great JPEGs in camera every single time with your Lumix G85, right? So um, this is just a few little tweaks that I do um, within the menu, within the color profiles to get great JPEG results, okay? And we're also gonna talk about, you know, the various color profiles and things like that, right? So let's roll that intro and let's get into it. Hey everyone, welcome back. So yeah, great JPEGs with your Lumix G85 camera, right? So if you've been following the channel, you'll realize that I've just recently picked up this camera, um, got it at a great deal. You know, with all my Lumix cameras, I shoot both JPEG and RAW, okay? Um, personal work, you know, I'm always just really using the JPEG files, but professional work, yes, I'm using the RAW files. Um, however, um, let's get straight into it. Okay, so, um, the, the settings I do to get great JPEGs in camera every single time is you go into your menu, okay? So we'll go into our menu here, and then we go into photo style, okay? So this is just the standard, stock standard Lumix photo style. Um, by default, when your camera comes and you start shooting JPEGs, this is what you're gonna get, okay? So if we just scroll through the profiles to start with, we've got standard, we've got vivid, adds a little bit more contrast to it. We've got natural, uh, we're gonna talk about that in a second. Uh, monochrome, um, that's a good one to tweak too. I'll do a separate video on that. L monochrome, you know, a little bit more contrast. And as you, as you can see there, that's my L monochrome um, settings as well. And I'll do another video on that. Uh, scenery, portrait, custom. So this is where you can get in. You can customize your profiles and stuff for your um, JPEGs. And then back to standard, okay? So we're gonna skip standard and we're gonna go straight to natural. And as you can see here, this is the setting that I use all the time, okay, for my JPEGs. While I'm shooting raw, I'm shooting this profile as well. So natural, and what I do is I tweak it. Um, I boost the contrast to two, okay? So it gives me a little bit more punch. I take the sharpness all the way off. Uh, modern cameras are sharp enough. Uh, noise reduction, I just leave at zero. Um, you know, you can experiment with that. Um, I don't, I just leave it at zero. And then the saturation I take down by two, okay? So I'm sort of getting a bit more of a mood by taking it down by two. As you can see, while, whilst I boost it, you can see it really start to saturate the colors of the distortion pedals there. Um, that's at zero. But I find just taking it down to minus two gives me a really, really good result okay and then yet yeah, we just go down and we set that and that's in my profile right so that's just a real quick video on how i set up my camera for jpegs um, i'll do more uh, camera setup videos uh, with my lumix g85 in the future how you know i always um, there's my profile turn the grid on back button focus um, things like that and the other thing i want to say too is um to get great JPEGs in camera every single time, it's not just about the um, color profiles or the picture profiles you're using and tweaking that. It's also about the white balance and stuff like that. And as you can see here, I just shoot shooting um, on daylight. Most of the time I shoot on daylight. Sometimes I shoot on cloudy day for a little bit more warmth. And as you can see there, that instantly warms up the photo, but cloudy day. And then the other thing is, is that the metering modes as well. Most of the time I'm using spot metering well, 100% of the time I'm using spot metering. I don't use anything else. Um, and that also plays into effect too, you know, the backlit, the lighting conditions and all that sort of stuff too. So it's not just about the color profiles itself. It's also got a lot to do with white balance, as you can see there. And also your metering modes and the lighting, uh, the light setting you're in, okay? So I'll go into more depth um, in future videos on white balance in your Lumix cameras and stuff like that. But for now, that's just a quick video on how I get good, cool, funky JPEGs in camera every single time that take minimal editing and I can share pretty much straight away, okay? So if you like this sort of thing, please feel free to subscribe to the channel and um, yeah, I'll see you all next time. Bye.